Hello, good evening, thank you so much for joining me and welcome to this week's video. In this week's video, I'm doing the WKG Critty Critty Bang Bang race. Uh, it's 14 laps, it totals 27 kilometers and uh, I've entered into category D. In this race, I thought I'd do a voiceover so I can have a conversation as, as I'm going around, explain what I'm feeling and also I can address a few things from last week. Um, but I'll get into last week's video as we get into this. So I flew straight out of the box. Uh, I, I tried to put the power down, but obviously I got caught up straight away. All the cat A's and cat B's, they flew off and left me straight away. I managed to hold on to a pack that, uh, well, I'm, I can only guess they're like mainly cat C's and a couple of cat D's. I couldn't really work out who's in the pack, but I kind of figured that they're around uh, 2.5 kilograms per watt so um, I'm, I'm managing to stay with these and I really am starting to struggle not having a fan inside uh, the pain cave that I've set up but that's uh, definitely an upgrade to come in a few weeks time remember to smash that thumbs up button if you're enjoying these videos and if you love Zwifting even if you don't love Zwifting smash that thumbs up button So I managed to stay in with this pack and as I go over this cobble section I was really really gunning it. I, I decided to knock it down into gear 11 and do it as like a bit of an interval workout. And it seemed to work, I seemed to go to the front of the group and then they would gradually overtake me and bring me uh, back into check again. I think they were frightened that I was going to pull away but in all honesty, I, I didn't have the power to pull away from them anyway. As you can see, a couple of times I tried to leap forwards and it just didn't really work out. So as I hit the 6K mark, I was kind of, I was kind of hanging on to the back of the pack and I did actually think, you know, are these guys going to pull away and leave me? So I didn't really want that to happen, so I did put the metal down a little bit. I could see that, you know, one or two of them were actually starting to break away. I hit the cobbled section again, I did that as a bit of an interval workout. You know, 300 and something watts going up it, I managed to charge in front of the pack again. And then uh, they slowly, one by one, overtook me. I kind of figured that either the pack was going to get stretched out, um, and I was going to be left behind or I was going to be left behind, period. I knew what was coming. So on to last week's video, I just want to thank a few people in the comments. Uh, there's a few, I'll put the pictures up on screen now from Reddit. I had a few really nice messages telling me that I had actually chose the wrong bike last week. Uh, so if you do get a chance to go and watch last week's video, you can have a little chuckle to yourself just like I had a chuckle to myself when I, I, I didn't know that if you use a TT bike it doesn't give you any draft boost or any um, drafting and hence the reason why I struggled in that race so like I say it's a learning curve I'm not expert I'm not an expert but please uh, just keep on commenting away I am so appreciative of all of your guys feedback um, I am so determined to get better at this game and I absolutely love it as well. Once, I, once I'm in the zone and I'm racing, I absolutely love it. So I actually thought I was doing quite well to still hang on with these at 10k. Um, we're just coming up to 10k now and I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, you're doing pretty well, I'm hot, I'm bothered. I haven't used any boosts because my phone's also recording me at the same time um, so I need to address that in future uh, races to come you know how am I going to use my boosts and I thought to myself well I am still doing well to hang on to these but I can notice that the pack is starting to stretch out and I'm I'm waiting for it I'm waiting for these guys to go and it happened at the 10.8k they jumped on to the people overtaking, you know, the Cat A's and the Cat B's and everybody just held on to that pack and they left me. And 
I was literally, you know, left on my own for for quite a bit. So, so at 12k, I'm still on my own. I'm still thinking to myself, I really do wish I could have kept up with those guys, but I think I did quite well to manage 12, 12.2k. Um, I am still category D. I, <laughs> I am uh, currently training for the Great North Run Half Marathon as well, which. I'm on week two of a 20 week training plan and my body is feeling it a little bit but I think the early fatigue I had I think that's starting to you know um, to go away now and I'm starting to get my groove in this um, you know Zwifting I really am enjoying it So at the 15k point, I did have my eye on a couple of names. I had my eye on two people behind me. There's a Maru uh, from what looks like Germany, and then there was also a Beamer Pishka from uh, Britain. And I was keeping my eye on them. I could see their times. I really was, you know, starting to get concerned whether they was going to catch me up. Uh, we've just gone through the halfway mark. I'm now starting to really you know I, I put my cap on backwards you can see i'm really starting to struggle um uh, i definitely need a fan it's on my it's on my wish list for my pain cave those names behind me i'm hoping that they don't jump onto the back of like an overtaking group and uh you know catch me up so with 10k to go I'm still on my own, but I've still got my eye on the chasing pack and I am starting to get concerned now. They are literally, you know, within the 10 second mark behind me. I know that I cannot, um, you know, let my guard down for one second. I know that if I were to drop it down a gear at the wrong point or stay at a cruising pace that they could probably catch me up quite easily. So I'm now starting to get a little bit, a little bit anxious you know 9k to go i don't know if my legs are going to hold out or not they were definitely burning at this moment in time i was incredibly hot you can see my heart rate has jumped up now to 160 beats per minute um but i'm actually i've got a big smile on my face so with three laps to go i am you know really really starting to dig deep I have got my eye on the guys behind us. There is a fella in front of us who uh, it looks like we've overlapped him and I kind of thought, well, if I can, you know, stay with him, just use him as a bit of motivation to, to keep me going. I might be able to draft with him or, or you know, he might be able to help me out, actually. I, I'm still not using any boosts because I've got no way of pressing it because it's, you know, on my phone. Uh, my phone's recording, so I'm literally doing this with no boosts. I've got no fan and I'm really starting to feel the pain. The pain is, is digging and you can see it on my face. The grimace on my face is there. I'm incredibly hot. Even though my face was grimacing, I can assure you though, I loved every second of it. And this is the funny thing about Zwift. If you've not done Zwift racing before, I really do recommend that you do try it. It's not that daunting. Um, yeah, you're probably going to get your arse, uh, you know, handed to you just like I have, but it's still fun the time really does fly so with 5k to go the times actually went off the screen and when they come back on the screen um, the two people who had been keeping my eye on behind me were incredibly close they were like three to four seconds literally i could see the names appear at the bottom of the screen and i was panicking that they were going to hold on to an overtaking group and they were going to overtake me so i i made a decision and that was for the last lap i was going to really dig deep and really push hard but i'm digging deep i'm pushing i'm pushing as hard as i can we've got you know two laps to go one full lap after this lap now i'm not sure of my actual position in the category I'm guessing at this point, just looking at the stat, you know, the stat list at the side of me, that I'm possibly second. 
this I'm pushing now you can hear me getting vocal I am you know really really struggling the legs are burning you've got you know two and a bit kilometers and I really want to hold these people off behind me and this is where it really does get fun I really I'm not just saying this I absolutely love this because the time just flies I was so engrossed in not getting beat by these two people behind me that you know I was in that much pain as well that I just I just it, it, it's it's fantastic you've got to try it if you haven't tried it it might not be your ideal of fun but I, I can assure you it is fantastic So I'm now working really hard. Uh, I'm doing a hundred revolutions per minute. I'm trying to be as efficient as I can, efficient as I can, changing the gears. I'm really working hard. You can see that uh, across the bar, across the bottom, that I've gone into yellows and reds. I'm really pushing it, and I really don't want to get overtaken. I I am feeling a little bit confident at this at this you know time because the the seconds are building up in between me and the places behind but we're working here we're working really hard we're going to go around this bend this last bend and I'm like yes yes I think I know deep down I've done it finish second you can see the look on my face I'm super happy it turns out according to Zwift Power, I've actually finished first in the category. So it's a first podium win for me. I am super happy. And that's where we're going to leave this week's video, guys. Thank you so much. I am genuinely happy. And the results are going in the right way. See you again next week. Take care. And also, why not consider subscribing? It's free. If you like this type of content, I'm going to be releasing videos weekly. Thank you.